So here we are back again at the main screen and this time we'll go to the editor. We'll just click on this little picture and that will bring on the online photo editor. We'll do the same thing again. We'll open an image from the computer. We'll take the same prints again. Now this particular program is much more like Photoshop and you've got a lot more controls that are very much like Photoshop. So the first one we pick here is the crop tool and we'll pick out this particular print. It's been getting a good workout. There we go. Uh, from there we go to adjustments, brightness and contrast. Contrast all the way up and you can play with this one. It's fairly bright this one so it's not too much adjustments here. Um, the next one will go to adjustments, hue and saturation. Hue and saturation just means uh, that you can play with the colors that are in the image if there are colors there already. This is a color image even though it looks black and white so I'm going to take all the color out by putting the saturation to minus uh, 100 and click OK. The next one I'm going to try in adjustments is levels and see whether that improves things. Often you can get an, a different sort of contrast happening with that and a bit finer control so I quite like that and I'll say OK to that. Just want to clean up a bit of this stuff around the bottom here. This is the eraser tool and we'll just take away all the stuff we don't want. The eraser could be set here in the brushes palette to a hard edge brush which will probably work a bit better because you don't want any soft edges going into this image. We're trying to get into a hard black and white line image. That'll do me. Okay, the next one we're going to go is to sharpen this image a bit. I'll just make it a little bit bigger so it's a bit easier to see what happens. This is very pixelated, this view, but it gives you an idea of what's happening with the image at least. So to sharpen it, we'll go to Unsharp Mask. And straight away you can see in even just with 50, it makes quite a sharper edge on things. Radius is quite good, we'll leave that as it is. Just hit OK there. Now there are several ways to go. The nice thing about this program, similar to Photoshop, it's got a history where you can see what you've done and you can undo it or redo it and just step back as far as you'd like. So you can easily play around with this uh, tool and just see what happens. The first one I would like to try is this engrave. See that straight away makes into a black and white, solid black and white image. Just make it a bit smaller so it doesn't look as pixelated. Uh, the thing with this particular filter is that it doesn't give us any adjustments. But if it works first time with your with your particular fingerprint, you know, you're in luck and just use it as it is. Another one like that is this, Mimic HDR. It's also a strong filter like that. It's maybe a little bit more pixelated, so I'll just take that out again just by stepping back uh, through the history. Uh, the one that I like is this one here. Sure, I can find it. Art poster again. So that gives us the ability to play with how much we want, how much detail we want. And I like it just a little bit more control. So that looks pretty good. Same as the other one. This actually does put a bit of color in. So just drag it around if it doesn't look dark enough until it looks nice and dark. And then hit uh, inverse. This uh, filter will actually invert so it's ready for a photopolymer plate and then hit OK. Next I want some dots in here so I can register the image easily and to do that I'll go to the brush tool 
and then in here you this particular um, program actually has got nice square brushes and then we'll set our color pick web colors to get nice clear colors set the web color to white and click OK and then all you have to do is just one click you've got this nice bright square now don't line them up equally because they make that makes it very hard to uh, line up the images later on better to have them a bit spaced and uneven so next thing we're going to double it up and make it into a print printable image so to do that um, we can actually select all I believe if you hit um, Oh, actually we can do that in here edit select all so that's control a or command a on a Mac then um, also in this edit we'll go to copy and edit go into paste now here in the layers palette you can actually see that we've got now two identical layers you don't see much difference happening here but there is actually two different layers here so I'll just go back to my normal pick tool and then we'll go to image and then canvas size we'll anchor it at this particular uh, left hand corner and then we only need to double up the width which in this case I'll just make 800 to make it easier and click OK and then we can just pick whichever layer is active whether it's this one or that one it doesn't really matter or maybe it does matter if this background layer is locked and you can't move it just double click it that opens it up to an active layer so then it doesn't matter and you can just drag it across and I usually just drag it a little bit past so I've got this little dividing line here and I know where to trim so I'll just crop, crop this right back to here hit enter and that's it so when you're done with this you go to file save and here you've got an option to save to your computer to different image galleries pixel library facebook Flickr, or picasa but in my case i want to get it to the computer because i want to make a photopolymer plate out of it if you um, save it as a JPEG, it will probably be fine for most things. Just save it as the highest possible quality. I personally prefer to um, save it as a TIFF, which has the best quality for what we can get from this site. Hit OK and we can save it. And this one is Pixel R Editor. And that's it all done and this is a free program it is really really nice to use it's in if for many things it's as nice to use as Photoshop just as easy so I hope you enjoyed that have it have a go with it you can um, go along with the video just pause it and try things out and go back until you've got it and once you have it you know it'll be easy for all sorts of things this same technique works very well also for kids drawing so try that <laughs>